Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to discuss about 3D plot, and also I want to discuss about how to uh, do iteration in uh, GNU plot, and these two things. And also I'll uh, teach you how to uh, how to draw polar polar plot and how to draw parametric uh, plots in GNU plot. So these things are uh, these things will be covered in this lecture. Now to uh, 3D as we know that uh, for three dimensional plot we need three sets of data x, y, and z, and the command for 3D plot is s plot. Uh, so instead of plot uh, s plot is used for uh, sur plot surfaces. Let's say uh, let's see an example. Uh, so s plot says all the features that we used uh, in plot. Uh, uh, instead of uh, using only one axis, it will use two axis. Let's say, uh, uh, let's open first GNU plot. Okay. Now, uh, S plot, just type S plot. Now it will, as S plot means surface plot. So it will need, uh, as, we, as we know that surface is surface uh, need uh, two axes, two uh, that is x, y plane uh, or y, x plane or y, z plane, that are the surfaces. So it will need uh, two coordinates. So for two coordinates, I just write, let's say sin x star um, uh, cos of x. Okay. So now. As you can see, it, plot, it has plotted that thing, uh, uh, sin x star cos x. Okay, so I use only one uh, one uh, coordinate, so that's why it is pl it plotted in one only one uh, axis. So as you can see, as I used only one coordinate, so I can make it a 1D. So you can uh, you can uh, move uh, around the graph and to uh, and place it uh, and you can uh, play it around play it with. So as you can see, as I have uh, plotted only uh, only using only one coordinates, so that's why it we can make it in uh, in a one D graph also. This is the one D version of this. So as we know that this is all the x coordinates, and you can make the graph in one D. So that's the thing. So you can play play around this. Okay. So you can move it around. You can uh, you can move it three three sixty degree. So these are the things. Now, if I just change that variable to be cos y, now let's see how it will change. So now our graph is like this. Okay. So you can't make it in a not can't make it in a single plane. Uh, last time we saw uh, in the last graph we saw that it, it we can make it in one d graph, but it, as you can see, it you can't make this in one d graph. So that's the thing. Okay. So sin uh, star cos y is plotted in this graph. As you can see, it is not in the plane. I, these are the perpendicular to the plane, and this is the, the in the plane. Okay. So this is how a surface plot works. And also you can try many functions. Let's say only x star y. X star y. So here it is x star y. Okay. So these are the things you can try. As you can see, this is not in a uh, plane. Uh, it is uh, it is in it consists of two uh, play uh, it, it consists of each it is in a plane that is mm, it is in x y plane okay so if you plot in uh, y z also sin star y z let's say y star uh, x star z so it will plot it in a uh, sorry z is not defined in here so we have to use x and y instead you have to set parametric for the using uh, z so okay z is not defined let's uh, not go into that okay so now uh, you can uh, do one thing. You can set uh, a mode that is set PM 3D mode. Set PM 3D, and if you replot that thing, what will happen? Let's see. So as you can see, it it is it is plotted with color. So it looks nice. You can uh, set the colors uh, also uh, by setting palette. Uh, Okay, so I can show you one thing. So you can see it, the palette. Uh, palette means color palette. So there are RGB formulas, uh, red, green, black formula. This list we can get uh, from GNU, any GNU part uh, documentary document. 
okay now if you replot that thing so now you can see the change so this is the color palette you can use any number in between so let's change the uh, numbers okay let's make it uh, 20 let's make all of them 20 now replot now as you can see the color is changed so you can use uh, this scale to change the color accordingly so these are the things uh, you can do uh, in surplus plot in, in this is in pm 3d mode so up um, to to ex exit from pm 3d mode you have to write a reset and replot now it will be plot plotted in uh, normal gnu plot window so okay so this is the normal surface plot okay so as you can see uh, that in pm 3d mode it looks nicer than the than in normal mode so you can use pm 3d mode and you can ch uh, change the color according to uh, this palette say you can just write set palette rgb formula and you can uh, change the uh, color pa color palette from uh, this is for x this is for y and this is for z so these three color can be these three numbers can be varied so these are the thing now uh, let's do one thing uh, i just uh, clear it clear it by quitting and clear now uh, let's do one thing uh, let's go into parametric plot these are the 3d plots all, all of them are all of them these are the 3d plots and uh, parametric plot is this uh, 1d plot uh, sorry 2d plot that it consists of uh, only uh, x and y axis uh, you can say it's a 1d plot it, it is in a, it is uh, in it is only one coordinate so uh, if we want to plot lisa joe's curve in parametric is a, as you know that lisa joe's curve is a parametric pl pl plot uh, lisa joe's curve is very popular in physics uh, in acoustics uh, we re read about it so just uh, to plot that thing let's go into gnu plot okay now uh, you just have to write set parametric okay you just have to write set parametric okay so you have to set the variable first uh, here it is the dummy variable is t for curves and uv for surfaces so you can choose uh, so to plot curves uh, now we are interested in curve so just uh, use t uh, instead of x let's say cos of t and let's say sine of 2 star t 2 star t plus 1 okay with a line with line color 3 okay sorry line color is not 3 line with line with uh, with line uh, line with uh, okay line with line only okay so here you can see elisa just figure okay so this is a uh, only plot so these are the things uh, that you can do in this is the parametric plot and use t as a parameter and you can vary t uh, to vary the lisa joe's figure so lisa joe's figure will be varied uh, if you change t so this is how you can plot lisa joe's figure in gnu plot and you can also set the x range and y range also so this is the parameter this is for this is for parametric plot plots now um, now for uh, 3d parametric plot that is for surfaces uv for you you use u and v for surfaces so now just uh, reset uh, just uh, you have to type now again uh, just uh, set parametric now now to pl plot the surfaces we uh, you just have to uh, take u or v as a variable so just type s plot sin of u star cos of v uh, let's say uh, let's do one more thing sin of sin of u star sin of v and cos of let's say um, u okay so it will plot three things now let's see what happens wow now as you can see 
this is the this is a three dimensional plot now you can uh, set pm 3d mode set pm 3d and replot it it will plot it with it will be plotted with color so as you can see it is plotted with color now you can vary the color by that formula as we know that uh, formula that have that we have earlier used this formula now just re uh, and replot okay so this uh, this is this is uh, the thing these are the things you can do in this new plot and this is how you can plot uh, 3d plot in the new plot so you can vary u and v uh, accordingly and you can try many function uh, out there over there so you can change uh, the palette color let's say this is uh, 15 this is 20 and this is 10 you can change around this uh, you can change and play around this uh, and you can plot it uh, with many colors so this is one this is another plot and you can vary the color according to your choice uh, according to the scale also so you can uh, vary the color okay so uh, now uh, these are the things this is the uh, mm, this is the parametric pl plot and now we go uh, straight go we go straight to the polar plot okay so let's clear the window okay now open gnu plot okay now po to uh, as we know we use uh, several times po in polar co we, we used to plot several things in polar coordinates and we use comp in complex number also complex uh, uh, analysis we also po use polar the polar uh, coordinates and for many things uh, we uh, for many calculus and uh, that are uh, complicated in Cartesian coordinates and that will be easier sometimes that will be easier in polar coordinates so to plot in polar coordinates we have to set polar okay is that busy now you, as you can see dummy variable is t for cars okay now uh, just plot uh, it is like same thing just uh, like, like parametric plot so cos of t let's say star sine of t okay comma let's say sine of t star cos uh, sine of t star let's say sine of t let's say with l okay now let's see what happens now as you can see the green one is the cos t uh, cos t star sin t and this is the sin t uh, green sorry green one is the sin t and this is cos t and sin t and this is a polar form uh, of, of the of the plot so this is how you can do polar uh, how can you have this is how you can use polar uh, plots and now let's uh, try another thing let's say uh, so uh, as it is already set it as polar so you don't need to write a may many times that thing uh, that command may uh, you don't need to write that command several times so to uh, exit from that we have to write reset and then again to s again to make it uh, in polar then you have to write set polar sorry polar okay now uh, if you want to plot this thing let's say plot cos of t and always remember that uh, cos that uh, argument is always inside the bracket if you don't uh, if you don't uh, write the bracket it will gives give you error let's say let's see that what will be the error so undefined variable cost so this is uh, this is uh, the thing that is uh, the variable uh, you have to define and cos t you have to write if you plot if you want to plot cos of t then you have to uh, write t inside the bracket okay so these are the things so let's say plot cos 2 2t and for 2t you have to write 2 star t okay cos 2t uh, let's say sign of 2 star t 2 star t with l okay now let's see now you can see a beautiful plot here this is a uh, polar plot and uh, okay so this is how you can do uh, these polar plot thing now uh, okay so these are the things you can do in 3d pl uh, plots in the new plot mm, so now uh, i directly go to iteration iteration uh, you can do iteration in the new plot and uh, we can have iteration within the plot command and this is uh, this way we generate a series of uh, function and plots so for iteration you have to write plot uh, 
uh, for you have to write for just like the for loop in uh, C uh, programming in n equal let's say if you uh, you want to plot for 1 2 uh, up to 10 okay so this thing uh, within third bracket let's say sign you, uh, you have to you want to plot sign of x uh, sign of nx by x sign of nx by n okay let's see sign of nx by n okay now let's see what happens okay we have to define uh, x what is x you have to that you have to define so okay to do that uh, uh, let's do one thing okay so okay there might be some error okay we haven't uh, we haven't exited exited uh, from that uh, polar thing so we have to exit from polar so that for that we have to reset that thing reset and now just you have to plot this thing now as you can see this is the thing okay so as you can see this is for uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 let be like that so this is sign nx by n now uh, this graph is little bit hazy but this is how you can do iteration in gnu plot and now you can uh, change around the x, x uh, change around the x level and y level also uh, sorry x range and y range so that if the graph will uh, graph will be a little bit uh, clear so you just zoom this as you do so as you can see this is the plots for iteration so zoom that for zoom uh, you just have to click the right click and just have to crop that thing just like cropping okay and for uh, to go to the uh, normal mode uh, you just have to type u from the keyboard okay so this is the thing you have you can do in uh, gnuplot and this is how you can do iteration in gnuplot so uh, these are the things and always remember that if you set something let's say set si set size square set size square okay now we plot that thing so it will be plotted within a square box so as you can see it is plotted within a square box this is some uh, way fancy way to represent your plot so these are the things you can do and mm, so you have to say size right uh, set size square okay so this is how we can do, uh, do iteration and also uh, parameter parametric plot and uh, today we learn in parametric plot polar plot and also 3d plots and last uh, uh, last but not the least the how to do iteration in gnu plot so these are very important things in uh, the new plot that you can do and always remember these things and uh, okay so bye for now and i will uh, teach you in my next lecture about how to save the file in the new plot in png format and jpg format etc so this uh, thing will be taught uh, will be taught uh, by me in my next lecture so if you like the video please subscribe it uh, my subscribe my channel and also share uh, it and please let me know about any improvement in uh, my course uh, regarding this uh, in my in the comment section so thank you